briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 2000 case that created ripples in the car leasing industry, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit highlighted the need for transparency and clarity when it comes to early termination of leases. The dispute at the heart was between Leonard Applebaum and Nissan Motor Acceptance Corporation, NMAC, over early termination clauses in two car leases. Applebaum argued that NMAC had failed to meet the disclosure requirements outlined by the Consumer Leasing Act, CLA, and Regulation M. The court notably agreed, stating that NMAC's provisions were not clear and visible enough to the consumer. At the crux of the dispute was the methodology behind the calculation of early termination penalties. Applebaum claimed that he did not receive satisfactory details on how NMAC arrived at the early termination fee. The court held that the method used should be reasonably understandable in light of the complexity of the calculation and should include all crucial factors, such as the residual value of the leased property. After Applebaum's appealing of the initially, a district court's decision to side with NMAC, the Court of Appeals overturned this decision. They rejected NMAC's claim that residual value disclosure wasn't necessary in closed-end leases, arguing this information was always pertinent. NMAC, it concluded, had fallen short of providing complete disclosure to Applebaum. The court ruled in favor of Applebaum, returning the case to the lower court for fresh adjudication and suitable compensation. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.